Okay, I have started recording. So guys, uh, good to see you all here again. I uh, hope that uh, our online lessons will be very much useful. But for that, you guys need to do a lot of work at home yourself. So uh, do not rely on me a lot. Try to do more work uh, at home uh, rather than relying on me. Uh, the books will be ready soon. And uh, today I'm going to give you uh, some other books, electronic books, ebooks. I'll, I'll send you by Telegram. You can download them and uh, work with them. I will let you know what to do and I'll give you some tasks based on those books. So uh, before we start today's our speaking club, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, what to do in order to improve your speaking skills. Okay, so what are the things that you need to do in order to improve your speaking skills? Okay, uh, so uh, there are some steps that you need to take into account. Uh, So uh, there are eight tips to make your English fluent. Uh, first of all, you have to be motivated. Uh, if you are motivated, then uh, uh, you will definitely achieve your goal. You should be motivated. And for that, you'll definitely have to get uh, someone who helps you with that. Uh, you need to read a lot. Please, uh, when you're at home, uh, Please read a lot, a lot because uh, you will not be distracted uh, or you will not be uh, disturbed by someone. It's better to get one book, but one very good book and read it. Um, I was happy with the results that Munira has done. Uh, your results are not so fantastic, but the uh, uh, important thing is that you have tried to work on it. So that's important. Okay. Uh, do not give up. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, the uh, first thing that you need to be uh, doing is to be motivated, always be motivated. Next thing is read a lot. If you read a lot, you will get uh, great English. Uh, go to a good English school, get a good teacher. <clears throat> so, I'm not advertising myself, but this is one of the tips, how to improve your English skills, okay? Um, well, because if you don't have a good teacher, then that's going to be a, that's going to be a really big problem. Um, right. Uh, so you have to write a lot. Yesterday we have started doing the writing, and as you can see here, uh, challenge yourself to write in a more complex way. Do not sound childish, because spoken and written English are totally different from each other. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, it means when you are speaking, it's different. When you're writing, it's different because writing and uh, speaking are two different things. You can speak without uh, uh, paying attention to your spelling. Uh, you can speak without paying attention to your grammar. But uh, when you're writing, um, everything is there. People, when, you, when they read your writing, they can understand your mistakes. So... Um, you have to read, you have to write, you have to listen. Listen to uh, the podcasts that, I can, uh, that I'm sending to you on Telegram channel. Uh, if, you, uh, you have, if you have already seen, I have uh, downloaded some uh, news. Please watch them. Um, and there will be some books that you're going to work with those books. So don't worry, uh, you'll have enough. Uh, six is uh, have a conversation. So what we're going to do now, we're going to have a conversation. Uh, today, we're not going to have a really much, a lot of conversation, but what we're going to do is try to do a speaking test. Mm. I'm going to give you uh, questions, and one by one, you're going to answer. The one who is ready, they can start. The rest of us are going to listen to that person who's going to speak. Uh, get a good dictionary uh, and have a realistic goal. These things are very important. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, so 10 don'ts uh, from the IELTS speaking test. So 
10 things that you don't need to do when you're doing IELTS speaking. First is do not memorize the answers, okay? Uh, many people, they try to memorize their uh, the answers. Like uh, if you remember, I gave you one book. Uh, the book was uh, something like this one here. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, 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 Who's that? Ah, Murajan. Waalaikum Asalam. How are you? Uh, yeah, that's me, Murajan. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so your your uh, task is not to memorize the things. So what you're going to do um, is. Uh, Today, let's let's start doing it, and then I will uh, briefly explain these ten don'ts again at the end of our uh, lesson. Okay, so uh, um, we will take uh, IELTS Cambridge ten, and here are the questions. Everyone can see it. Examples: uh, Weekends. How do you usually spend your weekends? Can you see this? Those questions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, now, uh, yes. I'll give you some time, uh, except Murajan, because Murajan, you will not have enough uh, extra time to prepare. Uh, the rest mm -hmm. of you, you can prepare to these questions. Here. Please, uh, I can even uh, copy it and send it to the Telegram channel so that you can you can prepare I have sent it to the telegram channel the rest of you if you don't see it um, so um, Rajan, please please start uh, the rest of you uh, please listen to Rajan. <laughs> okay then we're going to continue with another student so uh, Rajan, uh, how do you usually spend your weekends <laughs> yeah uh, at the weekends, I get used to play a computer and my personal PlayStation games uh, because uh, I don't know why. Because that's uh, uh, if I do, if I spend my time like this by doing such things and playing computer games, I just relax and I like it. Someone has a problem with voice. Наконец mm -hmm. Who's that? Наконец то. Mubarak. Mubarak. Yeah. Did she join? Okay. А семьдесят мам, Камала. Э, Камала. Энд о вас нельзя чекать Hi. 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 Okay, um, please guys, uh, what we're going to do now, um, everyone is listening to Murad John, he's going to give his speech on speaking. Uh, the rest of you are going to turn off your voice, please. Uh, on the screen, you can turn off the voice. Mubarak, so uh, Mubarak. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to turn on. Oh, come on. This is this is a problem. Everyone, please turn off your voice. Okay. Now I can see it. Marjana, please voice off. Voice off, please. Marjana. Everyone. Except except Marajan. Everyone voice off. And then when I go to another uh, student, uh, you can turn on your voice. Okay.
Okay, Marajan, uh, we're going to continue our <laughs> speaking. Um, I'm going to give mm -hmm. some feedbacks. Uh, if you have some mistakes, then uh, we can discuss them. So the question number two, <laughs> question number two is, which is your favorite part of the weekend? Uh, the most interesting part of the weekend uh, for me is mm, it's time when it comes to afternoon because uh, I don't know why, but that's um, it's much relaxing for me uh, because uh, the, oh my god. Internet That's is the only day and the only time when yeah. get up from work and try not to talk shop as hard as I can. Okay, it does it doesn't work. Please stop. Mm. Time's up. Uh, you've got a problem with internet, I guess. It's very difficult to understand what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah, I'll fix it just now. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, then okay. I will start and talking with someone else. Uh, so who's ready? Mm -hmm. Ra raise your hand if you're ready. I can't see anyone raising hands. Who's ready? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's difficult in Uzbekistan. The internet is so bad. It's good to see you all, your faces. It's very great. Um, all of you are here now. All of you can join. We have a great time but you know this internet is really bad can can you understand um okay what we're going to do now is um trying to uh, uh, okay uh we on the right hand of our screen we have a chat can you see this can you see this okay um Everyone, please uh, type it if you can. Chat. Chat. So now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Good. Uh, tell me one thing. Can you clearly hear my voice? Is it normal? Can you hear my voice without a problem? Yes? Okay. Because it's difficult for me to, you know, with some of you, uh, I have problem. Uh, let's uh, let's try it with Madina. Madina, um, I will give you some questions, and you need to answer those questions. All right. So the question number one is, um, how do you usually spend your weekend? Uh, in my weekend, I spend my time uh, reading books and uh, doing homework. Because in this year I entered the university, so I uh, every day do homework. Okay, um, you don't enter university, and uh, you guys do you remember I told you um, you apply to university, or you uh, uh, you don't enter university. The enter is not a correct verb. Enter means to enter, physically enter. Open the door, enter. 
but it doesn't mean that you become a student of that university. So uh, it's not correct to say this year I'm entering the university. You can say I'm preparing to become a student. I'm applying to a university or I am mm -hmm. trying to um, become a student of one university. So uh, for that, I need to study and I spend my weekend mostly on doing uh, exercises, reading something new, and uh, preparing for examination. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, question number two is, which is your favorite part of the weekend? Which part of the day is your favorite in weekend? At weekends. At weekends, my favorite part is uh, evening. Okay. Yes. Because uh, in the evening, I I can uh, do something. Uh, okay, after I can, you don't say I can doing. Okay, you say I can uh, do something interesting. Do? Yes, I can do, not I enjoy. Uh, <laughs> because can is a modal verb. Okay, and after modal verb, you don't need to put ing. If that was a normal verb, then you would put ing uh, to the second verb. But uh, can is a modal verb, and you don't need to really put ing after the second verb. Okay, thank you. Uh, we'll go to Sultan. Sultan, are you here? Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, the question is to you. Do you think your weekends are long enough? Long enough? Yes. Do you think your weekends are long enough? Mm, I spend uh, half time uh, every weekend uh, to uh, reading uh, books and learning English language because uh, I need uh, English language and now um. Okay, um, the question is, do you think your weekends are long enough, long, which means uh, yeah. uh, do you have enough time to do your stuff or do you have enough time to rest during weekends? Um. Uh, I uh, yes I am uh, do uh, um, a lot a lot time um, to relaxing. Mm -hmm. No, uh, Karen. Uh, so what? Doing exercise. Uh, weekend. Cool part is not my work. Is that? What is that? No. Yo, yet tardy, my sister. Long enough. Long began. Uh. Uzun. Enough began. Yet tardy. Uzun. Yet tardy. Enough. Yet tardy. Yet tardy. Uzun. Uh. Weekend. Tardy. My sister. Yet tardy. 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 So, what do you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. Okay. Um, um, yes, because uh, because uh, maybe uh, um, okay. Maybe. Okay, Kumush, do you want to answer this question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it okay my voice comes to you? Yes, yeah, everything is fine. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's not enough for me because I have only one day for having a rest. And uh, this day, at the weekend, uh, it's Sunday. And I spend most of my time for doing my household, household tasks. And that's why I have less uh, re um, rest for this. It's not enough for me. Wow. Maybe uh, if there are two days uh, for having a rest, one day I would spend for doing this my work. And the second day I would have a rest uh, if it's okay. like that. But uh, these days we are all having weekends at home, so is it? Ah, yes. You? Uh, <laughs> no, nowadays are yeah enough for me. <laughs> okay, okay, it's more than enough. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, Kamala, do you want to answer this question? What question? 
uh do you think uh, uh do you think your weekends are long enough um so i think it's enough for me because now i'm, I'm multi and and uh, most of the time i must to prepare for my uh, to entering uh, to university mm -hmm. and that's why i think it's enough for me okay uh, again, entering is not a correct verb. Okay, so uh, you, should, you should enter. Yes, uh, it's not pro it's not proper verb to use. Uh, you don't want to enter university because everyone here can enter, but you want to become a student. Mm -hmm. So you you say I want to become a student of one university. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. Be Thank you. Be become a student. Yes, become a student of uh, some university. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, question number four: How important do you think is it it is to have free time at the weekends? Um, <sighs> who wants to answer? Okay, you, you, uh, Kamala. How important do you think it is to have uh, free time at the weekends? Kamala. What? It's it's for you. <laughs> Okay, um, can, could you repeat question? Uh, I have sent all four questions to the Telegram channel. If you cannot, uh, if you cannot mm -hmm. find the channel, uh, all the four questions are there and you can uh, mm -hmm. look through those questions. Uh, okay, but but that time, um, you know. Mwazam, Mwazam, do you want to answer this question? Could you repeat? <laughs> um, question number four, how important do you think it is to have free time at the weekends okay uh, did you get the question you didn't get that question for me yeah, anyone, okay. Uh, Marjana, what about you? Marjana, do you want to answer? Um, the question was, uh, free time, is it important? Yeah, how important is it to have uh, free time in, okay. during the weekends? How many weekends? Hmm? Only weekends? I'm sorry. Only weekends, yeah. Um, I I think yes, indeed, it's important. Um, oh, <laughs> okay, we can continue. Yes, indeed, it's important uh, because um, uh, when you have any uh, free time, uh, you can do everything. For example, uh, you can manage to your uh, own uh, own work. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you can spend your time with your family mm -hmm. or just you can you can do you can okay so that's very important mm -hmm. thank you um, right now I'm going to send a uh, task Two for everyone. Uh, you will have time to prepare, and then uh, who's ready? Um, I'll ask who's ready, and uh, you can start answering the question. I'm going to send the task two to the Telegram. Can you all open your Telegrams? Yes. Okay. Uh, one second, please. I'm just going to screenshot, screenshot uh, the task two, and. Uh, 
go. Uh, can you see the task too? Yes. Okay, so um, all of you have now uh, some time to prepare for the question. And then um, after a minute, you can answer the question. Okay, who's ready? For what? Okay. I have sent a task two to the Telegram. Uh, so you part part two of uh, speaking test. So you need to read uh, that part two and then um, answer those questions. The question is, describe someone who does something well. You should say who this person is, how you uh, know this person, what uh, they I do. I have known this channel. Hmm? I have known this channel. You don't have this channel? Yes. You're a very bad student. I, I sent the link many times. Here is the link. Join the channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Who was that? Um, this person is my teacher of medicine. Her name is Gunnarza. And uh, she taught me how to uh, do injections. Yep. Am I right? Yes. Make injections? Yes, yes. Or do injections? No, make, make injections. Make injections. Uh -huh. yes. And uh, she is, uh, I, uh, she has uh, children, uh, I think three, but she looks like very young. And uh, uh, she is very good uh, at, uh, on uh, many aspects in many spheres like uh, medicine or cooking or in hairdressing she's very i think professional in each these aspects and she does uh, does very well everything and um, i know her uh, i met with her uh, just uh, recently i think uh, three months ago and uh, i have studied uh, I I attend, attended her classes and learned uh, lots of things. And uh, um, uh, I think uh, why she is very uh, uh, why she does uh, well her uh, I mean work. I think she is very responsible and she looks at her job uh, with responsible and she's very punct punctual. Yes. So you don't say she looks at her job uh, very, very uh, what she said something like she looks at her job very yeah. responsibly or something. You should say she's very responsible at her job uh, or she uh, she's concerned or she takes her job very responsible. It's not to mm -hmm. look at. To look at is just physically looking at something. Now I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. That's what we're doing. But uh, when you're doing a job, uh, you pay attention, you take uh, care of it, you are responsible, just uh, responsible. So you don't look at your job. Responsible. 
Okay. Uh, okay, good. Um, anything else? No, it's not. Okay, so she's very good at uh, making injections. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so what, why are you learning this? Uh, are you going to be a medical person in the future? No, <laughs> just in uh, our family needs like this person. <laughs> Ah, okay. Every time we ask our neighbor to do it, but uh... okay, so um, it's it's a great thing I think uh, because every family needs one person who knows how to make injections. Uh, it's it's good very good very job. important. Yes, it's very important. Thank you. Your answer is uh, the uh, the answer is good, uh, but there are one or two mistakes. Good job. Uh, who's next? Who is ready? It's Prabhu, yes. It's Prabhu, someone you know. Yeah, this is something else. Yeah. yeah, well, uh, who's ready? May I try? Definitely. Mm. It's my friend. His name is Muniot. He's very good at football and sports games, computer games. And he's he can acting. He's very funny boy. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go to my hometown, I'm walking with him mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a very good cook. Cook. Mm -hmm. You can cook uh, pulo very very good, mm -hmm. very delicious, and uh, he's he's my best friend. He's your best friend. That's all. Okay. So again, uh, Imran, I have already said to Madina uh, that after modal verbs like can. Uh, you don't put uh, the verb with ing, okay? So you, you, you said can acting. It's not. Oh uh, yes. You don't say can acting. He can act. That's it. Act. Yes. After modal verbs, you don't put ing to the verb, okay? Uh, okay. Thank you. Anything else? Anyone else? Maraja. Is the internet better now? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead. No problem. Go ahead then. Um, mm, okay. Uh, okay, no, I'm going to talk about my friend uh, whose name is Alisher and, uh, and he's, real, he's real computer savvy and Mm, who uh, has a lot of idea about computers and the computer games mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if you look at him uh, uh, you can see that he acts like he doesn't have any idea about computer or such kind of games but uh, if you test him or if you saw him while he was playing he's a uh, uh, person as I said before and um, approximately one year ago, he won an award in a global uh, con uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive, and he's a real uh, champion. Mm. Uh, and he was among our friends, and um, and I have lots of friends, and. They are so a professional in their works. Uh, if I talk about my friend Sam, is a he works in a, as a teacher in a uh, education, and he's a real I think a go getter and a hard working person. And uh, because uh, he tries to teach somebody. Uh, even if he or she doesn't uh, try it all. And um, I think that's the most important thing. If someone wants to do something uh, on a high level, uh, they must to try and to do uh, whatever they can as hard as they do, I think. Okay. 
Uh, that's it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, what I want to say right now is, again, uh, the connection is still not the best. I have tried to mm-hmm. understand those uh, things that you have said. It's fine. Um, mm-hmm. I haven't mm-hmm. got everything from you, but um, what are you talking about, Sam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, uh, I don't know why, but just about, I don't know. Okay, you started talking about someone else at the beginning, uh, or some kind of a computer mm-hmm. man. Yeah. And then it uh, yeah. you started talking about Sam. This is this is not correct because uh, the question <laughs> here says, yeah, uh, it's like you started talking about uh, the mountains and then How much time we should speak? Um, you you have two minutes exactly to speak. Uh, so um, 